Hello everyone. In today's video I'm going to show you how to export video from Adobe Animate. Now the first thing you want to do is obviously have a file with some animation and some audio. From here instead of exporting it out as a Swift file let's figure out how to export it as a movie file this way we can upload it to like YouTube or Vimeo and start to build a portfolio online now how do we do that so there's a couple ways and I'll show you right now we can go to file and uh, the one thing is I'm gonna make sure that I show you I'm only gonna show it to you in Adobe Animate there is obviously other ways to do this using other editing software such as Adobe Premiere or on Macintosh Final Cut Pro and you can export things like that and we're not gonna get into that we're just gonna strictly stick with Adobe Animate and I'll show you one of the new things that I've seen happen in Adobe Animate when exporting which was new to this year I haven't seen it yet with this particular error until this version of it so I'm going to go file export and instead of doing an export image would just be the main image we can do export movie or export video and I'm going to show you both of these ways so f strictly for animation purposes not with audio you would do export movie and what you have here is a sequence of images so you can do you can export it as a swift movie you can export it out as a jpeg sequence you can export it out as a gif you can export it out as a png and an animated gif so it'll export each image individually like this and it'll name it 001, 002, 0003 so on and so forth and it'll create this little animated sequence for you where you have every image here and this is where you would export to like or import an image sequence like this into Adobe Premiere, After Effects or Final Cut Pro or something and then you would add your audio later because these images do not include the audio files with it so just to give you a heads up it is a way of doing it and in our particular case today we're not going to cover it but all you would do is just import the image sequence after you have saved and exported out from there now the other way we can take a look at is file export video and here what we can do is Adobe Media Encoder comes with the Adobe Cloud, Adobe Creative Cloud package and I realized it worked fine without having this check, checked on or off it, but it did pop up with a warning so one of the warnings it says is something about uh, having QuickTime installed I believe this can also export as AVI and things like that but in my particular case with this particular version this year this is the only uh, file that I can export out as from here so if you don't have QuickTime on your computer it's a free download on Apple uh, website so anyway just in case that does happen now in here I can browse to where I want to save it and I've already exported it once and then save as type it's going to be QuickTime Movie and then just to give you an idea I'm going to do two and hit save and I'm just going to uncheck this because I already have it in here if it is checked it I'll leave it checked for now and I'll go ahead and just hit export and you'll see uh, hopefully that a little error pops up again I'm going to hit export and here it is it says Adobe Animate QuickTime may need to be installed in order to view or convert the video in Adobe Media Encoder. And then just go ahead and click OK. So anyway, I've got a Adobe Media Encoder open already. And I have Export 1 and Export 2. So here's the first one and the second one. They're both the same. 
just some general rules of thumb I'll go over in just a moment if it does not work correctly just like this so here's my little video that I exported and it plays just fine I can set it to a loop as well just to show you and it plays perfectly so I did have QuickTime installed on my computer so to ignore that message just make sure that you know you go ahead and just get QuickTime on your computer beforehand it's not hard to install it doesn't take very long either and I'll include a link on that too but here what we have and the one other thing about QuickTime open with QuickTime the really great thing about QuickTime is that when you play an animation in QuickTime you can set it to frame number and then you can use the arrow keys to scrub through your animation which is a really nice feature about QuickTime so QuickTime is a great video software for animators so I highly recommend you get this especially if you're going to be playing back your animations quite a bit so it gives you the frame number you can change it to frame number or just standard and then you can scrub using the arrow keys frame by frame just to see what it looks like in case you have any little hiccups or anything in there and it also will it's a good way to check to see if you had any like export glitches like maybe your computer started running slower when it was exporting which sometimes can cause like a little hiccup in the animation it helps there too so anyway QuickTime excellent excellent video software for animators now let's go back in here into our Adobe Media Encoder let's just say you do need to export out of here I'm just gonna give you some general tips and some rules of thumb that you kinda wanna keep in the back of your mind first off H.264 is a fantastic compressor that's exactly what you want you do not want it to be really anything else any other the any one of these other files will more than likely create an e extremely large enormous file size that's gonna take forever to encode and so on and so forth so H.264 excellent and then you can go ahead and change this to match source and things like that and then go ahead and scrub down and you're gonna see a whole bunch of different settings one of the nice things about this is that if you're gonna export to Vimeo or YouTube they have preset default settings here for you so it knows what type of encoding those sites like YouTube or Vimeo it even has Twitter on here TiVo it's got a lot Facebook is on here as well uh, Barnes & Noble Nook tablets and whatever you're going to primarily be watching this on you can export to pretty much so anyway it gives you a nice selection there then what you do is just hit this little play button but strongly do recommend do not change this from H.264 and then you just hit the play button and in this case it's going to create a little mp4 and that didn't take very long and it creates the other one and it should be fine so I do not know where I exported them to oh, they're in here so these are the mp4s I'm going to open QuickTime and there it goes so there's a little demo on exporting out of Adobe Animate instead of as a Swift file we exported as a .mov and if you did need to use the media encoder an mp4 so anyway I hope this was helpful thanks for watching and go ahead and just submit a short little animated sequence with some sound for your lab it does not need to be complicated at all just something very 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 simple anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you next time and message me with any questions